I wonder if Titania be awake. Then what it was that next came into her eye, which she must dote on in extremity. Here comes my messenger. How now, mad spirit? What night rule now this haunted grove? My mistress with the monster is in love. <laughs> <laughs> Near to a close consecrated bower, while she was in her dull and sleeping hour, a crew of patches, rude mechanicals, were there to rehearse a play, meant for great Theseus's nuptial day. The shallowest crew of that barren sort, whom Pyramus presented in his sport. Went to a thing and took a break. <laughs> it is there that I did his advantage take. Yes. And ass is no, I placed on his head. <laughs> Anon, this, this be must be answered, and forth my mimic comes. When they him spy as a wild geese, the hunters clap. Spy. <laughs> At the sight of him, away they fly. <laughs> we led them on in their confused state. And left Pyramus translated there. At that time, <laughs> it came to pass. Time to wait. And straight loved an ass! <laughs> <laughs> this falls out better than I could have devised. Uh, <laughs> but as thou yet latched the Athenian eyes with the love juice as I did bid thee do, I took him sleeping. That's done too. And the lady by his side. So that when he awakened, she would perforce be I. <laughs> Stand close.
this is thy negligence. Still thou must make us fight, and they who loved you on some true love sight. Of thy misprision must perforce ensue, a true love turn, and not a false turn true. <laughs> and then, 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 then made over rules, that like one man holding troth, a billion fell, confounding oath on oath. About this wood goes swifter than the wind, and Helen of Athens seek thou ply. On fancy sick she is, and hail of cheer with sighs of love that cost the fresh blood dear. By some delusion, bring her here. I'll charm his eyes, and then she do appear. I go, go, faster than arrow from a Tartar's bow. Ha! Ha! Flower of this purple dye, hit with Cupid's archer eye, seek an apple of his eye. When his love he doth espy, let her shine as gloriously as the Venus in the sky. When thou wakest, if she be by, <clears throat> beg of her for remedy. <laughs> Captain of our spirit, Helen is close again, and will you be mistaken by me, bidding for a lover's fee? Shall we their fond pageancy? Lord, what fools these mortals be! <laughs> you do advance your cunning more and more. These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her over? I had no judgment when to her I swore. Nor none in my mind. Now give her over. Demetrius loves her and loves not you. Shall I compare thine eye? Oh, spite! Oh, hell! I see you're all bent to set against me for your merriment. Can you not hate me as I know you do, but you must join in souls and mock me too? If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use that gentle lady so! You are unkind, Demetrius, be not so. For you love Hermia, this you know I know. And here, with all good will, with all my heart, Hermia's love I do yield up my part, and yours in Helena to me beseech. For I do love her and will till my death. Never did mockers waste my idle breath! <laughs> Lysander, keep thy hermit. If ever I loved all that love is gone. My heart to her against me wise so join. To Helena it is home. Thou art not by mine eye, Lysander fell. Mine ear I sank and brought me to thyself. But why unkindly didst thou leave me so? Why should thou stay when love doth press me go? When love could press Lysander from my side. Lysander's love that would not let him bide. Fair Helena, who more engilds the night in all my fiery orbs and eyes and light? <laughs> Is not this thing in I hate, I bear thee, and I leave thee so. You speak not as you think, it cannot be. Oh, she is one in this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false for in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired, have you contrived with these to base me with this foul derision? I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. Have you not sent Lysander as in scorn to follow me and praise my eyes and face, and made your other love to be 
weave it, but now to spurn me with his foot, to call me goddess, nymph, divine, rare, precious, celestial? Wherefore speaks he this to heart and hate? I understand not what you mean by this. I do persever and counterfeit sad looks. Make mouths upon me when I do turn my back, weep each at other, and hold the sweet juice up. <laughs> Stay, stay, gentle Helena. Hear my excuse. My life, my love, my soul, fair Helena. Sweet, 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 do not scorn her soul. I will entreat. She cannot compel. Thou canst entreat us no more than she can compel. Thy threats are no more strong than her weak prayers. Helena, I love thee. By my life I do. And I will prove by what I will lose for thee to prove him false that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. Then come and stay and prove it too. Come on, come, 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 come. What changes this sweet love? <laughs> Thy love? Out, Tony <laughs> Potter, out. Do you not just? Yes, and so then so do you. Demetrius, I will keep my word with thee. I will not cut thy word. What, should I strike her, hurt her, kill her dead? Although I hate her, I'll not harm her so. What? Can you do me greater harm than hate? Tis certain, no doubt. Hate, hate me, no where's more? Tis certain, no doubt. I do hate thee and love Helen. Hermia, are not you Lysander? Tis certain, no doubt. I do hate thee and love Helena. Oh. You. <laughs> Shuck. You. Canker blossom. <laughs> <laughs> you thief of love. What, have you come by night and stolen my life? You counterfeit, you you puppet, you puppet. Why so? Ah, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She hath urged her height, and and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. And are you grown so? High in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> How low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach unto thine eyes. I pray you, though you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt me. Perhaps you may think because she is something lower than myself that I can match her. Hark again, lower. Be not afraid, she'll not harm thee, Helena. No, sir, she shall not. No, you take her part. When she is angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school, and though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again, nothing but low and little. Let me come to her. Oh. Get ye gone, you dwarf. You minimus of hindering, not grass made. <laughs> you bead, you acorn. <laughs> and thou, come if thou darest to prove who's right, of mine or thine, is most in Helena. Nay, I will follow thee cheek by jowl. You mistress, all this coil is love of you. Nay, get you. I will not trust you, I, nor will I stay in your cursed company. Your hands than mine are quicker for a fray. My legs are longer, though, to run away! Please, to know not what to say! Still thou mistakest, or the 
get us tied in Avery's willfully. Believe me, King of Shadows, I mistook. Did not you tell me I should know the man by the Athenian garment he had on? Thou see these testy rivals seek a place to fight. Hide, therefore, Robin, overcast the night. Indeed, these lovers so astray that one come not within another's way. Like to Lysander, sometime frame thy tongue to stir Demetrius with bitter wrong. And then thou rant like Demetrius, and from each other lead them thus to over their brows death counterfeiting sleep with leaden legs and batty wings doth creep. Then, squeeze the juice of this into Lysander's eye, whose liquor has such virtuous properties to take from thence all error with his might and make his eyeballs roll with wanted sight. And when they awake all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision, while I in this affair do thee employ I'll to my queen and beg her Indian boy, and then her charmed eye released from monster's view, and all things shall be peace. Up and down, up and down, I shall be up and down. I am feared in field and town, Goblin! Lead them up and down. Here comes one. Demetrius, 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 where art thou, proud Demetrius? Speak thou now. Here, Billy, drawn and ready. Where art thou? I will be with thee straight. Follow me then. To play the ground! Lysander! Speak again! Thou coward, thou run away! Where doest thou hide thy head? In some bush? Speak! <laughs> <laughs> thou coward! Art thou crying to the stars, telling bushes thou lookest for wars, and wilt not come? Yea, art thou there? Follow my boys! Try your manhood here! <laughs> <laughs> Goes before me and still dares me on. I come where he calls, then he is gone. This villain is much lighter heeled than I. I followed fast. Faster he did fly. Then fallen am I in a dark, uneven way. And here will rest me until the break of day. Oh, ho, coward! Where art thou? Thou wert before me, shifting in every place. Dare not stand nor look me in the face. Where art thou now? Come hither. I am here. <laughs> yeah. Art thou there? Come hither. I am here again. Nay. How faint is constrained to be to measure my list on this cold bed. By tomorrow, look to be visited. Oh, weary night, a long and tedious night to bait thy hour and shine comforts from the east that I may back to Athens by daylight. From these my poor company detest and sleep that sometimes shuts up sorrow's eye. Is still may a while for my own company. 
<laughs> Yet but three, come one more, two to nine, make up four. Here she comes, cursed and sad. Cupid is a knavish lad, thus to drive more females. Mad? <laughs> Never so weary. Never so in woe. Bedabbled by the dew and torn with briars. I can no further crawl. I can no further go. My legs can keep no pace with my desires. Oh, here will I rest me till the break of day. Heavens, shield Lysander if they mean a fray. On the ground, sleeping sound. I'll apply to thy eye, gentle lovers ramadai. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in thy former lady's sight. In the country proverb know that every man should take his own. On awakening shall be shown. Jack shall have cheek. Not shall go ill. The man shall have his mare again, and all shall be well. Sit thee down upon this flowery bed, while I thy amiable cheeks do coy and stick musk roses in thy sleek smooth head, and kiss thy fair large ears, my gentle joy. Where's Peace Blossom? Ready? Scratch my head, Peace Blossom. Where's Monsieur Cobweb? Ready. Monsieur Cobweb, good monsieur, bring me the honey bag. Where's Monsieur Mustard Seed? Ready. Nothing good, monsieur, but to help Cavalry Peace Blossom to scratch. What, will thou hear some music, my sweet love? <laughs> Let's have the tongs and the bowls. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, um, um, oh, 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 I say, sweet love, <laughs> what thou desirest to eat. Truly. I could munch your good dry oats. <laughs> I have a venturesome spirit that shall seek out the squirrel's hoard and fetch the new nuts. Ooh. I would rather have a handful or two of dry peas. But I pray you, let none of your people stir me. I have an exposition of sleep come upon me. Sleep thou, and I will lie to you in my arms. Spirit be gone, and be all laid away. in mild terms, begged my patience. I then did beg of her, her Indian boy, which straight she gave me. And now I will undo this hateful imperfection of her eyes. And gentle pup, take this transformed step from off the head of this Athenian swain. Then he awaking when others do, May all to Athens back again repair. First, I will release the spirit of thee. Be as thou was wont to be. See as thou was wont to see. Now, my Titania, wake you, my sweet queen. My Oberon. Oh, what visions have I seen? <laughs> Methought. I was enamored of an ass. <laughs> <laughs>
realize your love. <laughs> his visage now. Silence a while. Robin, take off his head. Come my dirty boy. Now, when thou wakest with thine own the ground on where these sleepers be. Music! Oh, music! Such as charmeth sleep. And we begin to rock. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> Steady rocking all night long. And we begin to rock. Steady. Rock into the break of dawn And we begin to rock Steady Steady rocking all night long And we begin to rock Hey, sing it! Steady Rock into the break of dawn Fair King Attendant Mark I do hear the morning lock Come my lord our flight. Tell me how it came this night that I sleeping here was found with these two mortals on the ground. Get to rock! Hey! <laughs> Steady! Steady rocking all night. the mountaintop and mark the musical confusion of hounds and echoing conjunction. I never heard so musical a discord, such sweet thunder. But soft, what nymphs are these? <coughs> my lord, this is my daughter here is me. This? Lysander. This Demetrius is. This Helena. Oh, Nadar's Helena. I wonder if they're being here today. No doubt. They rose up early to observe the rite of May. And here in our intent, came here to grace our solemnities. But speak, Edges, is this not the day that Hermes should give answer of her choice? Yes, it is, my lord. Go, wake them. My child, hurry up. Go wake him. Go wake him. Get your brother up, Lysander. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morrow, friends. Demetrius, awake. St. Valentine's has passed. <laughs> Pardon, Hello, my man. lord. Awaken. I pray you all, stand up. I know you two are rival enemies. Tell me, how comes this gentle concord in the world? Well, Angel is so far from jealousy. To sleep by hate and fear no enmity? My lord, I will reply amazingly, half sleep, half waking. I came with Hermia hither, our intent to be away from Athens, where we might, without the peril of Athenian law, go to the house of my aunt. Enough! I know you have enough. I bent the long upon his head. They would have stolen away, Demetrius. 
they would, thereby having defeated you and me, you of your wife, and me of my consent that she be your wife. My lord, fair Helena told me of their still, of this their purpose hither to this wood. I and Fury hither followed them. Fair Helena, fancy following me. But my good lord, I want not by, by, by but some power, by but some power it is. My love for Hermia melted as a snow. <laughs> the desire of my heart, the object and the pleasure of my eye is only Helena. Oh, you got to. <laughs> Fair lovers, you are fortunately met. Of this discourse, we will hear none. Edgeus, I will overbear your will. Oh, no. Ah. No, no. For in the temple, by and by, with us, these couples shall be eternally knit. Away with us to Athens. Three and three will, will hold the feast in great solemnities. Come, my Hippolyta. <laughs> are you sure that we are awake? It seems we sleep, yet we dream. Did it seem the Duke did a folly? Yes. Then let's follow him. <laughs> well, wait. Let's recount our dreams. Going to the chapel and going to get married. When my cue comes, call me and I will answer. My next is most fair pyramids. Hi ho, Peter Quince, flute the bellows mender, snout the tinker, starveling. God's my life, stolen hence and left me asleep. I have had a most rare vision. I have had a dream. Passed the wit of man to say what dream it was. Man is but an ass if you go about to expound this dream. Me thought I was. There is no man can tell what. Me thought I was, and me thought I had. <laughs> <laughs> but man is but a patch fool if he will offer to say what he thought I had. The eye of man hath not heard, the ear of man hath not seen. Man's hand is not able to taste, nor his tongue to conceive what my dream was. I will get Peter Quince to write a ballad of this dream. It shall be called Bottom's Dream, because it hath no bottom. And I will sing it in the latter end of the play before the Duke. Yet. He cannot be heard of, or I doubt he is transported. If he comes not, uh, then the play is more. Yes. It goes not forward, does it? It is not possible. There was not a man in all of Athens able to discharge Pyramus but he. No. He has simply the best wit of any handicraft man in Athens. And the best person, too. And he is the very paramour of a sweet voice. You must say paragon. The paramour has got blessings. Think or not. <laughs> Bastards. Master, the Duke is coming from the temple, and there is two or three lords and ladies more married. If our sport had gone forward, we had all been made men. Oh, oh, sweet bully bottom. Does has he lost sixpence a day during his life? He could not have escaped sixpence a day. 
and the Duke had not given him sixpence a day for playing pyramids. I'll be hanged. He would deserve it. Sixpence a day in pyramids or nothing. <laughs> I am to discourse wonders, but ask me not what, for if I tell you, I am no true Athenian. Oh, 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 I will tell you everything, uh, yeah. right as it fell out. What say it down, Willie Walker? <laughs> not a word of me, for the short and the long is, our play is preferred. Yeah. Yeah. In any case, let this be half clean linen. And let not him that plays the lion pare his nails, for they shall hang out for the lion's claws. And, most dear actors, eat no onions nor garlic, for we are to utter sweet breath. And I do not doubt what the hear say. It is a sweet comedy. No more words. Away! Go! Away! Strange than true. Lovers and madmen have such seething brains, such, such shaping fantasies that apprehend more than cool reason comprehends. The lunatic, the lover, and the madman are of imagination all compact. One sees more devils than a vast hell can hold. That is, the madman. The lover, all is frantic, sees Helen's beauty in the brow of Egypt. The poet's pen doth glance from heaven to earth, from earth to heaven, and as imagination's body forth, the forms of things unknown. The poet's pens give shapes to an airy nothing, a local habitation and a name. Here comes the lovers now, full of joy and mirth. Joy, gentle friends, joy in fresh days of love. More than to us, wait on your royal walks, your board, your bed. <laughs> Accompany your heart. Come now. Come now. What mass, what dances shall we have to wear away this long hour of three hours before after supper and dinner time? Say, where is our usual manager of mirth? Go, Philistrate. Here, mighty Theseus. Hey, what abridgment have you for this evening? Hmm. There's a brief how many sports are right. Make choice of which your highness will see first. Ah. The battle of the centaurs. To be sung by the queen and eunuch to the hop. We will have none of that. That I have told my love and glory of our kinsman Hercules. The bride of the tipsy bucknels. Tearing the Thracian singer in their rage. That is an old device, and it was played when I last of thieves became conqueror. A tedious and brief scene of young Pyramus and his love this big. A very tragical mirth. Merry hmm. and magical. Tedious and brief. That is. Hot ice and wonder, strange snow. Tell me, how shall we find the concord of this discord? Hmm. There is a play, my noble lord, some ten words long, which is as brief as I have known a play. And tragical it is, my noble lord, for Pyramus therein doth <coughs> kill himself. Hmm. And who are they that play? Hard handed men that work in Athens here, who have never toiled in their minds till now. And we will hear that play? No, my noble lord. It is not for you, for it is nothing, nothing in the world, unless you can find sport in their intents, extremely stretched, and learn with cruel pain to do use I oh, will hear that play. Oh, oh, oh. For never can anything be amiss. 
and simpleness and duty tender in. Go, bring them in, take your places. Ladies. I love not to see wretchedness overcharged. Oh, gentle sweet, you shall see no such thing. For our sport shall be to take what they missed You'll see, my love. And sometimes this simplicity speaks least of our capacity. So please, your grace, the prologue is addressed. Let him approach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. if, if we offend, it is with our good will. That you should think we come not to offend, but with good will, to show our simple skill. That is the true beginning of our end. Consider that we come but in despite. We do not come as minding to content you. We come as, as for all for your delight. We, 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 yes, I'm sorry. We're trying hard. We, we, we come in despite that you hear can test you, but we, we come to, but all the actors are at hand, and by their show, you shall know all that you are like to know. This fellow does not stand upon points. He has read his prologue like a rough coat. Indeed, he has played his prologue like a child on recorder. Sound, but not in government. And his speech was like a tangled chain. Nothing impaired but all disorder. Who's next? Uh, Per, perchance, gentles, perchance you, you wonder at this show, but wonder on until truth makes all things plain. This man, this, this man is, is Pyramus, if you must know. This beauteous lady, this beauteous lady, this and, and this man with lime and rough cast, this, with lime, no, this man, this man with lime and rough cast, just within a wall. That vile wall which did these under these walls did sunder, and through walls chink, through walls chink, did these poor souls whisper and to take no scope. And, and and this this man, this man with with this yes, yeah, this man with lantern, this man with lantern, dog and, and head of horn, just presented moonshine. Well, as you know, pyramids of this do meet by moon. Moonshine, as to think, no scorn as to meet it at minus two. Yes, yes, and and this man, yes, lion height by lion height by name. This man, yes, does <laughs> lion height, and he is tearing as this be, as this be tearing, and her mantle, she did fall. Her mantle, her mantle, she did fall. Yes, her mantle, she did fall. And lion with vile, bloody mouth did stay. Anon comes Pyramus, Pyramus, sweet you and tall. Yes, yes, and with, with blade, oh, he finds his, yes, he finds his stain. Thank you. Because it's Thisbe, and then with blade, with bloody, blameful blade, he bravely broached his boiling, bloody breast. And and Thisbe, Thisbe, tearing in mulberry shade, drew his dagger, drew and died. For, for wall, lion, and moonshine, and lovers twain at large discourse, and here. They, they do remain. Now. Now. Go, go, go. In the same interlude, it, 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 it do before that I wasn't stopped by name. It's in a wall, and such a wall as I would have you think to have in it a cranny hole or cheek. 
do which pyramid of this which was very simple. This, this low, this rough cast, and this stone do show that I am the same wall, the truth is so. And this, the cranny is right and senator, through which the fearful lovers are to whisper. So black, O oh, night, whichever art, the day is not. O oh, night, O oh, night, alack, alack, alack. I fear my Thisbe's promise is forgot. And thou, O oh, wall, O oh, sweet, O oh, lovely wall, that standest between her father's ground and mine. Thou wall, O oh, wall, O oh, sweet, O oh, lovely wall, show me thy chink to blink through mine eye. Thanks, courteous wall. Joe Shield be well <laughs> But what's the eye? No Thisbe do I see. Oh, wicked wall through whom I see no bliss. <laughs> Curse be thy stone. <laughs> <laughs> the wall, methinks, should speak. No, in truth, sir, you should not. Deceiving me is Thisbe's cue. She is to enter now, and I am to spy her through the wall. <laughs> Oh, wall! Who <laughs> often has thou heard of? For part of my fair prayer missing me, my lips have often kissed thy stones. Thy stones were lying here and up in thee. I see a voice. Now will I to the chink to spy. And I can hear my Thisbe's face. Thisbe! <laughs> my love, my love, I think. Think what thou wilt, I am thy lover's grace. And like my man, am I trusty still? I like Helen to the fates me kill. Not shaftless to progress was so true. And shaftless to progress I to you. Oh, kiss me through the hole of this vile wall. Oh, <laughs> kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> There's lion come and strike into this place. Let us, let us listen to the moon. This lantern that the hornet wouldn't present. He should have worn the horns on his head. This lantern that the horn would present. Myself, the man, who seem to be. The man should be put into the lantern. How else is the man in the moon? I am a wary of this moon. Change. All I have to say is to tell you this lantern is the moon. I, the man in the moon. This thorn bush, my thorn bush. This dog, my dog. <laughs> this is old Nini's tomb. Where 
It's my life! Great war, Lion! Well run, there's me! Well shall moon, truly the moon shines with a good grace. Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. I thank thee, moon, for shining now so bright. For by thy gracious, golden, glittering gleams, I trust the take of truest this be sight. But stay, O spite! But mark, poor knight! What dreadful dole is here? Eyes do you see? How can it be? O oh, dainty duck! O oh, dear! Thy mantle good? What stained with blood? Approach ye fury spell! O oh, fates, come, come, cut thread and thrum! Quail crush concluded. Quail. Passion and the death of a dear friend would go near to make a man sad. Oh, be shrew my heart, but I pity the man. Oh, wherefore, nature, didst thou lion's frame, since lion vile hath here deflowered, my dear, which is, no, no, which was the fairest dame that lived, that loved, that liked, that looked with cheer. Come tears confound, out sword and wound, the pap of Pyramus, I, that left pap, where heart doth hop. The, the, the wrong pap, the, the other pap, the other. Uh, <laughs> thus die I, thus, thus, thus. Now, am I dead? Now, am I fled? My soul is in the sky. Tongue lose thy light. Moon, take thy flight. Now die. 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 <laughs> She will find him by moonlight. Here she comes, and her passion ends the play. Asleep, my love? What day, my dad? Oh, dear, that's a Sleep! Sleep! <laughs> Quite dumb? Dead? Dead? A tomb was covered thy sweet eyes. These my lips, this cherry nose, these <laughs> two <laughs> sweet cheeks. Her tongue! Her tongue! <laughs>
tongue of midnight have told twelve lovers to bed. Our nightly revels in new jollity form new revel, my love. Late. I want to commend the men in this program. You guys are rock stars. We are going to be doing this again next Saturday night. So gentlemen in blue, uh, there's going to be sign-up sheets in the building. We need your names by Tuesday if you want to see it again or tell your friends who missed it. Uh, this is a not-to-be-missed performance. And we're doing it again next Saturday night. It's a first. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God.